sitting beside her, we shared conversations. I talked about my sons. She talked about Sean. And when I prayed for Sean and she prayed for my children long before we ever met each other. And the first day I met Sean, I knew he was Wanda's son because he looked so much like her. When we sat beside each other, we never sang the same parts. We always had two-part home. Always. And sometimes I would say, Wanda, I think I'm singing Bob and Rachel today. She said, that's all right, but she just wouldn't sing what I was singing. <laughs> She would tell Miss Boxdale the same. Every time I think about Jesus, I feel good. Mm -hmm. When I met her that Sunday morning, I didn't know who the pastor was here or who his wife was, but I saw this lady come down the steps smiling with a hat box in her hand and this man behind her. She sat down in Sunday school and after Sunday school she went in that office and she came out with a knock out of her hat. <laughs> Every Sunday she would do that. Wanda Wood, if you know Wanda Wood, you love Wanda Wood. And I believe that if she knew you, she loves you too. She, um, she and my pastor embraced me like family. So I thought of her as my sister and I think of him as my brother. And sometimes he'll tell me that he wants me to do things and I'll say, no, I'm not going to do that. And I say, well, pastor. I don't fight preachers. He said, well, then stop fighting me. <laughs> anyway, they are one who have to tell me she was a child of God. I picked that up. And the thing that I love so much about her was when she talked about Sean and when she talked about her grandchildren mm -hmm. and her husband, she had a twinkle in her <laughs> When he talked about her, he had a twinkle in his eye. And when um, he would stand up to preach, Wanda had a sick, I mean, he, he knew what it was. And at least if he had forgotten something, he changed things right there. Since she hasn't been able to come in a while, he doesn't look in that direction. He looks over there and talks to Mr. McCombs about it. <laughs>